Good morning, everyone. Hope you're well and uh, you are ready for a fun filled day that we've got planned for you here at Norton Natural. Now, I'm sorry this isn't in person. It would have been great to have you all in school, but obviously, given the current situation, we can't actually physically get you in. The structure of today has been emailed out to you previously, OK? But unfortunately, today what's happened is a few of our links have gone offline, which means that if you are unable to access anything today, please look at our website under the live event section and it's got an updated timetable on there. I will email a link out directly to that um, section of the website, along with a link to the transition booklet. Today is all about you experiencing what it's like to do A-levels and having a discussion with individual teachers to ensure that the course is right for you, because if you run the right course from the outset, it's going to help you in the long run. As I mentioned, as soon as I finish this meeting today, what I'll do is I'll go through and I'll email out the transition work to you so you have that as your teachers are going to go through it. You'll clearly understand what's going on, what they're talking about, as well as being able to ask direct questions to them. I'm about to play a short presentation to you to welcome you to Norton Natural Induction Day. If you do have any questions as it goes along, please use the question answer section at the top of the screen um, and I will come back to your response as it goes along. Once again, I'd like to welcome you to Norton Natural School and I really hope you enjoy today. I'd like to start by introducing the members of the team. As I already mentioned, my name is Sam uh, Messenger. I'm the head of six from here at Norton National School. Next year, joining the team, we have Miss Bond, who is our, going to be our deputy head of six form, and her main focus will be looking after year 12's academic progress. We also have Miss Thompson, who's the six form pastoral manager, and her role is to look after the pastoral concerns, and she'll go into more detail about what these are later on this presentation. We also have Miss Carney, our attendance officer in sixth form, whose role it is to ensure that you attend all of your lessons and obviously generally help out in the sixth form. And the final member of our team, we have Miss Baldwin. Miss Baldwin's role in the sixth form team is to ensure that you are studying effectively during your study periods and offering support if and when it is needed. We follow the VESPA model here at Northern Natural School. What does this mean? Well. What we do is we get students to start thinking about their vision very early on. Where do they see themselves going in the future? Now, this isn't talking about weeks. This is more talking about five, ten years in the future, because we find that students with the best possible visions of where they see themselves going in the future are going to be the ones that are going to get the most successful results when it comes to their A-levels. We look at the amount of effort students are putting in, and we're not saying that you're not going to put the effort into your A-levels, but we need to ensure your efforts are targeted in the right sorts of things, because what worked for GCSE isn't necessarily going to work for you for A level. A levels are a marathon, not a sprint. Therefore, we need to ensure we are putting effort into all of our subjects and spending about five hours per subject per week on them outside of the classroom. We look at the systems and the practices that you've got in place. So are you organizing your time effectively? Are you practicing using the resources that we're giving you? And then finally, we look at the attitude of some students to ensure that obviously your attitude and you're focused for these A levels because they're going to be tough. The next year is going to be tough. The one after that is going to be even tougher, particularly for your year group, given obviously the recent lockdowns and everything that's been going on in the world. It's going to be really tough for you to ensure that you keep focused, you keep engaged and you keep working hard. That is why you setting a vision about where you want to go in the future is really important. One of the first things we do at Natural is we talk to you about where you want to go when you leave us. What do you want to do? Because what we want to make sure is you're on the right A-level courses for you they're going to help you get to where you need to go. Thinking about where you want to go into the future, that links really nicely to today's event. So today's event is an opportunity for you to go and experience what it's like in these particular subjects. Usually, obviously, you'll be coming into school and we'll send you around the school site to ensure that obviously you are getting that full experience. However, obviously, we aren't able to do that. So instead, we are using Teams Live events. To access the live events for your chosen subject, you'll need to click on the link, okay, that was sent out to you in the email. If you cannot find that email, either contact us at sixformteam at nks.kent.sch.uk, or if you go on our social media, there is a link directly to this table, which will then allow you to access those events. During these events, members of staff will be working their way through transition work, what their expectations are, and to ensure that obviously you understand what it's going to take to be successful on their courses. We are following the same period structure as what we would traditionally have in school. Okay, so period one starts at 9.05, period two 
period two starts at 10.10, period three starts at 11.30, and period four starts at 12.35. What the idea of this is, is to ensure that members of staff have enough time to get to the start of your lessons. So if they aren't there for right at the start, please just hang about because they are having to commute around the school as the rest of the school continues on their normal day. The block structure we've got here are following the option blocks which we have got in place for next year. Therefore, if, for example, you are thinking about taking product design and English, it can't, cannot be done with, due to the way the timetable is structured. So you need to think about the three or four choices you have put in to ensure you're going to as many as you can. Now, students have already asked me whether or not they can attend more than one session if they're not down for it. Yes, that's fine, okay? Go to as many of them as you possibly can because this is about you trying things out to ensure that you're on the right courses for you and they're gonna help you get to where you need to go. Therefore, I strongly advise you attend as many of them as you possibly can. A big part of what they're going to be talking about during these sessions is this transition work. This transition work must be done and will be assessed within the first two or three weeks back here in September. In these transition booklets, it will have details about the course content, what the transition work is, so what work needs to be completed over the summer, the type of assessment that's going to be taking place, as well as further reading. This further reading is also really important because students who develop a passion early for their subjects are going to get the best grades. So if you are interested in a particular field, I strongly suggest what you do is you spend some time looking at those additional resources that are there. And it's not just a case of sitting there reading absolutely everything on there. No, that's not what it is. There's videos on there, there's documentaries, there's podcasts, a wide range of resources which all our teachers draw on on a daily basis to ensure you get the best possible education. So, just a couple of other bits before I pass you over to Ms Thompson. Results day is obviously the 12th of August. Internal students, you'll get an email directly from Ms Seckham explaining the times that slots for you to come in. 8.30 to 10. And as you come in, you'll collect your results and then you'll go down and obviously accept your place in the sixth form. For external students, you will then follow on from this at 12 to 2. You'll come in to the school site, you'll go enter to the main hall where your member of the senior leadership team will then talk you through the process of actually enrolling you into the sixth form. If you do have any concerns at any point, please do email sixthformteam at nks.kent.sch.uk and we are offering an additional enrolment session on Wednesday the 1st of September between 2 and 3. However, if for example you want to email before that, please do email me uh, directly and I can sort things out remotely. One thing I need to highlight to you before I pass you over will be the dress code. Our dress code has slightly changed uh, over the recent years because we've tried to go for a more gender neutral um, dress code. So this is the dress code we're going for. All students must wear a shirt or a blouse, okay, tailored in design and for formal wear. Trousers should be full length, okay. Uh, we are allowing, obviously, the, because due to the current style, slightly above the ankle, that's fine, okay, but we're not anything three quarter and above is not acceptable. We are not allowing denim trousers. Skirt length must, uh, shorts must be mid thigh, okay, but you must wear opaque tights and uh, dresses should be smart with sleeves, okay? So that, that is a general dress code, but the link at the bottom there will also take you through to the area on the sixth form website that goes through it in slightly more detail. I'd now like to hand you over to Mr. Thompson, our pastoral manager. Thank you, Mr. Messenger. As your pastoral manager, you, your health and your mental well-being are my top priority. The most frustrating part of my role is when communication breaks down and students are struggling with personal, home or other mental well-being issues um, and we're unaware of it. We can't actually support you very easily um, if we don't know what's going on for you. So in that way communication is absolutely key. A couple of years ago I had a student who failed to get his place at university by one mark. Um, he was understandably upset and went away, um, didn't talk to me on the day. A um, couple of months later came back and uh, decided he was going to resit his exam and try and get his place the following year. So he put his life on hold for a year and um, he told me about what had been going on for him at the time of the exams. He had a, a very ill sibling, he'd had late nights in hospital and a lot of stress over the period. Um, Sadly, because he hadn't mentioned to this, this to me at, at the time, I, I hadn't been able to do what I would normally do, which would be to 
call up the university, um, explain the situation to them, see whether they would waiver the, the entry criteria. Um, if I'd known around the exam period, we could have put some support in place for him. And we also could have um, organised for special consideration to be applied for, which probably would have meant that actually he would have got that extra one point that he needed. Um, there's lots of things that we can do to help that you might not be aware of. Um, so please, no matter how small or insignificant you feel your problem might be, make sure that you communicate it with us because um, there's usually something we can do to assist and sometimes it just helps to talk about it. I'm now going to pass you on to Miss Bond. Good morning everybody, um, my name is Miss Bond, I'm your Deputy Head of Sixth Form. Uh, my main role, as Mr Messenger has pointed out, is dealing with the academic concerns. In regards to Sixth Form, it's a real step up in academic terms and relies on your independence and a lot of self-management. This is something you will learn to adjust to. The impact of the past year and a half, no doubt, will have a more detrimental effect on your usual entrance to the Sixth Form than previous years. However, you've already shown incredible determination and resilience to your studies. It's important that should you find any academic concerns, that these are raised as early on as possible to have the correct measures of support put into place. In regards to monitoring throughout the year, you'll have three monitoring check-in points. The first will be at the end of Term 1, where I will receive grades and attitude to learning scores. Attitude to learning will be a key in identifying how you've been uh, settling into life at Norton Natural. During the initial first term, all the students are going to be timetabled into supervised study, and after that first monitoring, each student's progress will be reviewed. Should students show lower ATLs and gradings, then supervised study and report systems will be put into place. Monitoring grades and PPEs will directly influence your UCAS predictions. There is the opportunity to highlight any changes to your chosen subject options. This will get taken into consideration and reviewed, and any option changes will not be available after the third week in September. So it's vital that you get in touch and in contact with me as soon as possible. In relation to today, um, enjoy the induction day, engage, participate, ask questions to your subject teachers, and I and the sixth form team will look forward to greeting you all face to face in September. Should any issues or concerns arise from uh, today, please contact us on the sixth form team at nks.kent.sca.uk email address. Have a great day, everybody. Okay, thank you to Miss Bond, Miss Thompson for that information. Um, I know some of you have said there is a problem with the audio on that video. I completely understand. Sometimes it works for some, sometimes it doesn't for others. Um, so what I'm going to do is as soon as we stop sending this, I'm going to send an email to you containing three links. One will be to the transition work. One will be to the area the website which we are updating. Um, if a link, for example, fails for some reason, so please look there. And the other one will be to this presentation. So all the audio will be on there. Um, and I can even see that the captions are coming up as I'm talking. Um, if you do have any questions today, I'll just emphasize again, please do email us at sixformteam at nks.kent.sch.uk. Um, it's really important that you email us if you do have any concerns about logging on or anything like that, or you want to have a discussion about your options. Please feel free to email us, obviously, and then we look forward to seeing you all on results day. Thank you for your time today. And what I strongly suggest is you use this time effectively, speak to your teachers and really enjoy the day. Thank you.